We're covering Colorado first tonight. Two years after a Park County deputy was killed while serving an eviction notice near Bailey, a lawsuit against the sheriff's office has been settled. Good evening. I'm Kelly Worthman in for Kathy Walsh. Corporal Nate Kerrigan was one of three deputies shot by Martin Worth back in February 2016. His friend and a former Park County sergeant is who filed the lawsuit. Attorneys representing former senior sergeant Wells Tonges have not disclosed the settlement amount, but in a tell-all letter sent to CBS4 this morning, Tonja says Park County Sheriff Fred Wagner illegally demoted him, which forced his resignation days after the deadly shooting. Tonja says the plan for the attempted eviction was for deputies to stay outside of Martin Worth's home because Worth was highly volatile and potentially dangerous. Tonja says Wagner ordered deputies to breach Worth's home, adding, quote, I believe that if the sheriff's office would have followed under Sheriff Gore's directive and the initial plan to not enter, bo both Corporal Kerrigan and Martin Worth would be alive today. I have been approached by numerous individuals and they told me that they felt we were scapegoated. Kerrigan's family and another deputy who was shot but survived also filed a federal lawsuit against the Park County Sheriff's Office. It claimed the eviction operation was mishandled and negligent. There were other things they could have done that they should have done and their failure to do it resulted in Deputy Kerrigan being killed. That lawsuit is still pending. Wagner's office hasn't responded to our request today for comment. Wagner has said, though, he will not run for sheriff again in this year's election. Gore recently announced his run for Park County Sheriff.